Hey, my YouTube fam, I have a recipe for a delectable, delightful, juicy baked turkey breast. Stay tuned, you guys. my YouTube family lamb on the menu today I am going to show you how to make a delicious tender and juicy chicken breast my way the Yaya's catering way we are going to make us a beautiful um, baked chicken breast or excuse me turkey breast over a beautiful bed of mixed veggies y'all so I'll be back for the next step Okay, my beautiful YouTube fam, we are back with our nice, clean, um, dry turkey. I dried this to the best of my ability. Um, so it's nice and clean and dried. I also went ahead and removed the um, backbone uh, because I like for my, I wanted to lay flat in my pan and I like to save the backbone for when I'm making like um, soups or stocks. So now what we are about to do is make us a nice seasoned garlic butter. And of course we are going to, let me move this out the way. Slide that over. Okay, so of course we are starting with some nice room temp butter. Real nice and soft so it'll be nice and pliable to spread. Um, of course... This is a garlic and herb butter. So we are starting with some garlic in here. Y'all know I love my minced garlic. So let's um, put in some minced garlic, okay? Let's add in some herbs. We are adding in some oregano. Some oregano. Hope everyone is doing great out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you guys so much. This is rosemary, y'all. A little bit last of my rosemary. Rosemary and, and turkey, great. Great together. Um, here is some thyme. Going with some thyme. All right. We are going to go in with some chives that's going to give it a nice little oniony type of flavor some chives okay now for some seasoning poultry seasoning okay ground paprika paprika okay black pepper Oh yeah, and for a little bit of kick, we're going to use some New Orleans Cajun seasoning. Boom. So what we're going to do is get this all nice and incorporated and mixed in well. That looks so good. That's gonna be bomb on that turkey breast. Hope y'all can see this. That's gonna be bomb on that turkey. Mix it in nice and well. So all that butter is merry with those seasonings. All right. Okay, so now y'all, now that our nice beautiful garlic butter is made, what I'm gonna do is bake my um, turkey breast on a bed of veggies, which is called Normandy veggies. It's just your um, yellow squash, your carrots, and some nice big fresh broccoli. Um, this is frozen, but don't worry about it because it's all going to cook together. Those turkey juices from roasting is going to get those all softened up and seasoned. It's going to be great. Now, what I am going to do, I'm not going to season. I'm not going to season my um, veggies. I am going to pour a little bit of beef 
broth okay in this pan about that much and now what we are going to do is get our turkey in here and I'm going to do it breast side down first because I want to put some butter and seasoning on the back of that so here we go just take that matter of fact I'm about to use my hand because we ain't got time for the spoon boom okay so let's spread that on there nice and good it's gonna get a little messy but if it ain't messy it ain't good y'all know the messiest meals be the best meals see I'm dropping it all on my foot nephew standing here laughing at me you think that's funny boy that's funny okay so now it fell on your toe it sure did so now let's flip this bad boy over get them nice and leveled out under them veggies just like that I'm gonna lift this skin up. I'm gonna get this butter off my shoe. <laughs> okay, y'all. And let's get some more butter up underneath here. I hope not, Auntie. All right, so let's get. Wait, that's a shin? That's the shin? Yep, that's a turkey. Turkey breast. Turkey breast. Yep, so see, we're getting all that. Hope y'all can see. And it's sliding off. Just work with it, y'all. It's sliding off, but it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. How do you make a video? How do you make um videos? Just like I'm making it now. Okay, so get that up in, underneath that skin. Fold that back. And just rub it like that. Can I do my video, man? Can I do my video or no? Sorry, y'all. I got a little motor mouth here. Let me do my video. Okay, so. No, we got a motor mouth. <laughs> so, we are going to rub down the skin. Okay, we are going to rub that skin down. And it's tripping. It don't want to stick on your skin, but make it stick. <laughs> you be in charge of the food. Don't let the food be in charge of you. Okay, so. Rub that in like that. Boom. And to make it easier, you could have melted the butter and then poured it on and all that good stuff. So now what I'm going to do, I have this much butter left. So what we're going to do is be basting our turkey breast with it as our turkey breast roast. So, seems like I got majority of the butter on my glove and not on my turkey, but it's all good. So what I'm about to do is finish buttering up this butter ball, this turkey breast, y'all, and then I will be back. Okay, y'all, so I got my butter on my skin. And to make it easier um, for you guys, I would probably suggest um, melting the butter. Um, unless you just got patience enough to just spread it. Um, Cause it was trying to fight me y'all. My butter did not want to stay on my beautiful turkey breast when it came to the top part. But we uh, made it do what it, it do what it do. So let me clean up them edges right there. Okay, so now we got our beautiful turkey breast on a bed of our Normandy vegetables with a little bit of beef broth underneath there. We got our seasoned butter on the back of this chicken breast under the skin and on the top coat so now what we are about to do is go in with some lemon pepper on the skin a little bit of pepper on the skin just like that and we are also going to go in because i love the way it looks after it's done baking a little bit of parsley just like that so now let's get this bad boy in the oven you guys what I'm gonna do is cook this um, real low and slow I'm not even gonna I don't even want to cook have it covered I'm gonna cook it low and slow um, probably on I'm thinking like 275 and I'm gonna let this bad boy go for about at least three hours real slow in three hours we'll come back to uh, 
and see what it's looking like y'all so that's looking real good thus far let's get this bad boy in the oven and i'll be back to show you guys how it's looking all right my youtube fam this is what the beautiful turkey breast is looking like after four hours we have our beautiful vegetables under there the broccoli is still nice and intact see that all those good veggies is down there and all that good turkey juice and i think what i'm gonna do let's take a peek it's so juicy look oh yes so what I think I'm going to do, you guys, is I don't want to dry it out. Let's leave it in there for like another 30 minutes, y'all. And I should be back to show you guys the finished results. Look at that skin all nice and crispy and seasoned. Okay, y'all. 30 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, my YouTube fam. So now our turkey breast is done. So now what I'm about to do is make some wild rice. I just got some regular degular rice aroni, long grain wild rice. Um, what I'm about to do is take some of these um, turkey drippings that's in the pan, and I am going to uh, pour some in our rice pot just to uh, make that rice a little bit more flavorful as well. So I will be back to show you guys the finished product. Okay, my beautiful YouTube fam, here is the finished result. Delicious, juicy turkey breast. There's those roasted vegetables that we uh, paired with it. Um, Oh, excuse me, mouth watering. Okay, here's our nice, look how that crust, look how that skin came out of that. And the turkey is so nice and juicy. Here's a piece without the skin, just so you can see how juicy it still is. Nice and moist. So good, packed with so much flavor. That butter really helped a lot and made it just extra flavorful. We also have it paired on a nice bed of wild rice. So hope you guys enjoyed this recipe as always. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and everybody stay safe and stay blessed.